Hey, I'm Dave Kalama, and I'd like to give you a quick tip on reaching. Um, reaching is really an important part of paddling, and the reason being is it does a couple of things. It extends all your muscles and, and elongates them so that as you start to pull, you get the most out of that effort that you're putting out. But what it also does is it incorporates all the larger groups of the muscles so you paddle more with your body and less with your arms which is the most efficient way to do it so the first component and sometimes overlooked is just reaching with your arm and not reaching with a little bit bent like this but fully extending that thing which means you have to relax the arm for a moment second reaching with the shoulder so if I can show you real quickly just extending the shoulder, not turning the torso yet, but just extending the shoulder. That starts to pull the muscles in around the shoulder and down into your lats right here. Third part, upper body rotation. Okay, so maybe this way is better. You're turning that upper torso. And the last part is hinging. So that when you hinge and you turn the, your upper body and you get that rotation, you start to almost stack your shoulders something like this. So, turning the, core, turning the upper torso, start pulling in all the core muscles, and when you hinge, upper thighs and glutes, lower back come into the equation. So, arm, just extending, reaching with the shoulder, turning the upper torso, and hinging all incorporate the larger muscle groups and ultimately make you more efficient, which will make you faster and have more fun. So enjoy yourself, and I hope that helps you out.